can have best sleep ever. Hey everyone, Nadine Overwater. This year's webisode is gonna be a little different than last year's. I'm pretty excited. It's something I've always wanted to do. Spend the night on the mountain, like under my own desires, not unintentionally. So a little more prepared than normally. But yeah, got a rad group of girls. We're gonna head up first thing in the morning, shred a bunch of pow, cause it's been snowing for two days straight and dig a snow cave, hopefully sleep in the snow cave. Um, might not be a lot of sleeping happening. And then wake up, shred some more pow, head down. Just getting all the bits and pieces together here now. Got to consolidate it all, figure out how to get up the mountain. And yeah, hopefully we're in for a good story. Quarter after eight, we got a big day ahead of us. I think I'll pack the rest of the stuff in and go get a whole bunch of gas and meet the girls in the parking lot. You know, we want to be comfortable to some stuff. That's in. Okay, so Nadine asked me to come on an overnight sleepover, Frisbee Ridge, and I don't really know what to bring. Helmet, old Milwaukee, sleeping bag, mattress, drink Gatorade now. This is it. A complete and total shit show. Camping item. Don't know what I forgot, but we'll find out. lot at Frisbee, step one of the adventure. I've got Sarah Erickson, I've got Caroline Duchesne, I've got Shelly Ferguson, and I've got Jill Young. And we are gonna get the sleds unloaded, we're gonna get our gear pile, see what the beer scene's like, see how we're gonna get all this shit up the mountain for one night, five girls. Got, Tell me about this. I got a 15 ski do. she's a beauty, Pikachu. But Nadine said, leave Pikachu at home, you can ride one of my new fun ones. Gear Mountain. So, you're dealing with women. We like to bring stuff, we like to be comfortable. We got one night in the back country. Oh, there's more. There's actually a very large more. We have a little surprise for the girls for nighttime activities. I couldn't be more excited. It's already such a vibe, I love it. I'm here for it. I really wanted to bring my slippers. They didn't make the cut though. The cookies did. The cookies did. I was like baking up a storm last night. I'm like the girls are gonna love this. Cookies? Cookies? Too good that we're kind of underprepared, but overprepared. Speed shades. Fun shades. Hot girls of summer shades. What do we got there? Chocolate. <laughs> Check. Yeah, check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic
I feel like every women of winter, we get a meter of snow and then the sun comes out. And that's happening right now. Although, I don't think it's gonna last. So we should hammer it. Ditch our tunnel bags, smash some snow. Yeah, this is unreal. We're at Great Canadian's cabin here. It's a private little cabin. We've got a wood stove in there, which is nice. We'll be able to dry our gear out. We're gonna post up here for the night. Hopefully build some snow caves around. And we got tons of fresh snow right out our front door. We might never leave. We might never leave. We might live here. We now live here. Girl Mountain. Okay. It's party. Dina, what are we dealing with? Well, <laughs> got some deep conditions. <laughs> Even Shelly's stuck. That never happens. <sighs> <laughs> but we got the muscle, so I'm gonna try and like push it up and give it gas. If you guys try and yeah, for flatten sure. it. Yeah. Okay. Sarah. That's cool. I promise. Did you think if you got out before we got here, it didn't count? Yeah. Turn off the cameras. <laughs> We have made it till noon, which is sweet because we're already exhausted and we burned a bit of gas. 
nothing but pouch day. It's unreal. Um, we're just having a snack, having some water. We're gonna think about the storms rolling in. We might have to start building shelter by two or three or four. <laughs> um, four latest. No, no. I have like a minus 18 bag, so I'm flipping out flat. I brought a minus 25. I have you want 25 too. honey, garlic, or regular? Oh, God. <laughs> but oh, like, those off you. I think yeah, if I we dug in beside the cabin and oh, then yeah. into the bank, that's the way for sure. Bro, so much fun. So good. <laughs> Hot Gatorade. <laughs> We're blessed. <laughs> Could have sworn it was real, but we time started doubting myself. I play it on repeat, I would do anything just to turn back. Memories are faded in the sun. I just wanna feel like when we were young, when we didn't need photographs and I still gotta bring us back home. Day. We got up here, we managed to get all our stuff in one load, which is shocking to me. And we went and shredded pow. Like it's only one o'clock right now, but I think we were probably up here at 10. We probably got like two or three hours of pow shredding. We're tired and we know we have a big snow cave to build because everyone wants to sleep in it because it's gonna be awesome. And so we've got a lot of snow here. The, where the cabin sits is actually like there's a whole nother level below it. So we know we've got like at least three, four meters here. So we're gonna go down in where Jill's going there. I don't and know then what I'm doing. Yeah. Once we, hopefully we'll get into some firmer layers. Yeah. We get our trail in and then we need to go up because we need that cool sink yeah. for the cold air to go. That's and it's gonna be super warm. Chips, go girls, That's go. That's a good sign. Go. It was at a crust go. there. Go. <laughs> You're doing so good. We you guys are killing it. Okay, that's not a good sign either. You might be hitting ground soon. Make Great. I'll Currently hitting 115, which I feel like <laughs> we got that in the last two days. working for two hours on the snow cave. Actually, I'm sitting here while the girls are out there working. Had to come get my heated gloves, you know? Fingers are getting cold. But yeah, it's gonna be a sweet night. We got a lot of work ahead of us. We were hoping to maybe sled a little bit more, but we realized we have quite 
the feet in front of us to try and get this snow cave built because now everyone wants to sleep in it. At first, they wanted to sleep in the cabin and just me and Shelly. But now everyone's like, oh, snow cave, this is gonna be sweet. So now we have to build a massive snow cave. Um, I mean, we'll see if it happens. Just, we can clean it up, but like for the, the, the architecture's done, the bones are done, we need drywall. Okay. Know? Some paint. Yeah. Some paint. Yeah. Trim. Yeah. Cool. Going in. Oh, yeah. 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 It's 5.05 right now. <laughs> we started at, start at 1. <laughs> four hours, four That's hours. Math. Yeah, it's less, not bad. It's less than a whole day. Yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> less than five. It's like approximately <laughs> one cubic meter per hour. <laughs> oh Maybe like three quarters. It's solid. Yeah. yeah. It's not caving in. <laughs> Cave life. Oh my God. Holy crap. What do you think? What happened while we were in the cave? Everything. Blizzard. God, it's so nice out. Yeah, well, we got a little window of light right at the end of the day. It's like dark out, I think six o'clock right now. We had a good day. We are very exhausted. I think I'm more tired from digging the cave out, but I think we'll make some dinner. The girls deserve a beer now. We packed up a couple apres, so we're gonna enjoy one in the cabin, hang out, hopefully get some sleep and see what the morning brings. I like it like that
you. <laughs> and if I change my mind, and my mind says it fits just right, when my last year's dress is just a little too tight, and then I feel something inside me say, I really don't think you're strong enough to do so well. It's a spell that'll make me wanna shoot, 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 shoot,
exhausted, but I think we had a successful weekend. But uh, yeah, had so much fun, got stuck a lot, and met some really, really rad chicks and had a great time. Favorite part? I mean, I guess waking up and slinking out of the snow cave in my sleeping bag felt really good, like a little seal. That was a favorite part, making new friends with badass Shelly and badass Caroline was awesome. What a trip, we had an awesome time. Snow cave, adventures, karaoke, rad snow, sunshine. Couldn't have asked for a better crew. It was awesome. It's been an epic time, an epic adventure with some really badass ladies. And yeah, we had a great time spending hours uh, building that snow cave, hours longer than I thought it would take. But yeah, it was really good. And we all cozied up in there. It was a lot warmer than I thought it would be. And just had some good pow carves and fresh snow today. It was such a fun couple days. I feel like I'm like fulfilled or like back because we didn't have winter for so long. So it was so nice to get a couple days out, make some new friends, sing some songs. Uh, yeah, learned some new things and got stuck a few times. It was just fun and what I needed. I mean, trying out Diener's new sled is pretty nice. I need to upgrade. <laughs> and making new friends. It was great. I drag you, I drag you through the shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> and, now, and now you're all apart. <laughs> All right, ladies, we had a successful weekend sleeping in the snow cave, and now it's time to announce the winners. But first of all, I wanna say how stoked I am to watch this contest grow. There were so many entries, and it was so hard to choose, as it always is. And this year, with Back to the Roots being the theme, it really tugged on a lot of heartstrings because everyone was promoting their partners, their dads, their friends that really support them in this industry. And just the challenge and progression that comes along with the sport, and it's just really cool to see these common themes and um, just like the community around snowmobiling. So that's what this year's webisode was about and that's what shone through in all your entries. But without further ado, the winners this year are in third place. And again, this was so hard to choose. We have Alpine Ashley. And in second place, we have Kristen Olson, 2216. And your winner of this year's Women of Winter contest is AMD PM Photography.